Alright guys, uh, I just want to give you a real quick tutorial or explanation kind of on um, servo arm length and uh, control rod position as well as control horn position and how it affects the amount of travel on your uh, ailerons or elevator or rudder. Um, so we're going to start off with like the worst case scenario which is um, a short control arm which um, this this is actually a long control arm but um, I'm, ha I'm putting my control rod at the lowest one of the lowest points which is simulating a short control arm um, so I've got my control rod right here and it's going to a low point on my servo arm and a high point on my control horn now a big thing that you want to keep in mind when you're setting up your plane um, your control horn right here needs to be these holes right here um, here I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit and these holes right here need to be directly above the hinge point um, for for like the the most practical best use of a control horn position I guess um, if if you can line up these holes directly above the hinge point that is optimal that's the best situation you could get as far as where to put your control horn um, so now what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to um, I'm going to show you the amount of travel that the aileron will do with this setup so I'm going to move this servo arm right here um, to this point and then to this point to show you like it's like a real servo like it's actually moving so here I go. I'm going to move it and as you can see I'm going to the first line and there's not a whole lot of deflection here it doesn't doesn't really travel that far um, now if I go the other way same thing it just kinda it's very minimal very very short um, not a lot of travel it's like more like a sport plane setup um, so now um, if I move this to a lower point, that's a little better setup. Um, I still got my short control arm, you know, simulated right here as the low point, and I'm going to move this lower here. The closer you can get this to your hinge point on the control arm side, um, the better. The more movement you're going to get. So let me move that, um, and I will I will show you the difference there. Okay, so I've moved it. Um, I should probably shorten it a little bit because now it's um, it's changed where it's at, so it's not, the servo isn't quite centered, but still it'll give you an idea of the difference. Um, so now I've got the control rod at the two lowest points, um, and I'll show you the, the movement. So it's it's a little better. Um, if it was centered, it would be it would be a little better. Um, now for optimal, the, the best case situation for getting the most travel out of your servo or elevator or ailerons, I mean, yeah, ailerons, elevator or rudder, I mean, the best way, the best setup you could do is you could have your control rod at the lowest point connected to your control horn, so you want connected here, and you want this connected at the very top. Um, and I will show you... Uh, what that does as far as uh, movement goes and how much it changes everything so I always use long long servo arms like this one for example and I I'll ch put it all the way at the very top because um, I'm, a, I'm a 3d guy so I love lots of lots of movement so here I am kinda centered so now I'm gonna move my servo the same amount as I did before and look at look at how much deflection there is in the, in, in the same amount of movement. I haven't changed anything. All I've done is change where I put the 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 um, con control rod on my servo, but that's how much it makes a difference. I mean, it's, it's going, you know, almost 90 degrees in either direction with less movement on my servo. So, um, best setup is 
of your control rod, highest point on the servo arm, lowest point on the control arm, and then make sure your your control horn is center above the hinge. So just to cap it off, long long servo arm, long the longer the better for 3D. Um, mount your control rod to the highest point on the servo arm and the lowest point on the control horn and that's the optimal position for the most travel of your your uh, your your wing or your or your aileron or your rudder or um, so hopefully this helps you guys understand a little more um, of how that changes um, things so there you go um, if you have any questions let me know and I'll try and answer them thanks